ओए तुझे एक बात बताऊं तू तो मुझे टच भी नहीं कर सकता ये लो कर ले ये तो मेरा हाथ है मुझे टच ये मेरा गला है मुझे टच करके दिखा ना मुझे कर लिया ये तो मेरी बॉडी है मैंने कहा मुझे टच करके दिखा अरे आप के ना कर जाते हो आपको टच कैसे करूं देख हमारे अंदर जो माइंड होता है वो जो चीजें सोचता है वो होता है सॉफ्टवेयर और ऐसे ही हमारी जो बॉडी है जैसे तूने अभी अभी टच करा है वो होता है हार्डवेयर ऐसे ही कंप्यूटर के अंदर भी हार्डवेयर और सॉफ्टवेयर दोनों होते हैं और उनके अलग अलग काम होते हैं अच्छा फिर चलो हार्डवेयर चाइल्ड हैज टोल्ड वेरी वेल दैट वट इज हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर द बॉडी इज अ हार्डवेयर and the mind and the idea is a software this was the example and now i will tell you about the computer the computer itself is a combination of hardware and software the parts that you can see or touch are hardware and the part that you cannot see or touch are software so what are different hardware today i will show you i will start from the pc this is a computer this is monitor of a computer it is a hardware this is the cpu box or system unit it is hardware this is the mouse this is hardware this is the keyboard this is also hardware you have seen many times this computer but some other parts or some other devices which you have not seen i will show you today uh one device i will show do you know what is this this is portable hard disk and this is used with the computer to store the data this is also hardware and what is this what is this this is pen drive and this is also hardware now i will go to some internal parts of the computer internal parts like some circuit boards these are the internal parts of the computer this card is called daughter board and it serves a special purpose like this is for usb means the computer can connect usb device using this card this is a circuit board inside the computer and this is the main circuit board of the computer it is called motherboard see this is the motherboard why this is motherboard because this works very same to your mother it takes care of all the parts of the computer like input devices output devices storage media and all other things which can be connected or worked with the computer they are operated using this motherboard so this is the place where the microprocessor can be fixed like this you can put a microprocessor here and clip it like this the microprocessor will be fixed next parts you can see these are capacitors capacitors 1 2 3 you can see here these capacitors are to store the charge and here are some chips like this this is smt smt chip means surface mounted technology chip this is fixed in the motherboard it cannot be inserted or ejected like microprocessor it is mounted with the motherboard this circuit and some other chips are also there like this you can see so these are the chips i have shown you the place of the microprocessor i will also show you the microprocessor and these are the places where the daughter boards are fixed like this i can put the daughter board and i can connect like this so this way a computer has a main circuit board that is called motherboard and some other daughter boards like this we can connect the daughter boards for networking 
for the sound for the graphics different purpose can be served by different daughter boards this is the internal hardware of the computer and the hardware engineer is the person who deals with these components and parts of the computer other important hardware are printer scanner and speaker microphone pen tablet pen tablet is used for making the drawing i will show you pen tablet also so this is the tablet and this is the pen this special pen is used on this tablet and when you will make any sketch the same sketch will appear on the computer screen so this pen tablet is used by the artists you see different artwork on the computer that you call graphics or the illustration or the picture so the work made by artist is really made using this pen tablet and this is also a hardware i have told you a lot of about hardware now i will discuss about software the software is the part that we cannot see or touch so the computer program is the software the computer works on the based of the instructions or commands and these commands or instructions are written in particular language that computer can understand and that particular program is used to serve a particular purpose but when we have a bundle of the programs we call it software like ms office is a software in that software we have ms word excel access powerpoint and a lot of other features that software has so the software is a big program or a combination of programs that is used by the users for specific purposes ms office is a software that is application software and windows is a software that is operating system operating system is a software that is used to operate the system we cannot see or touch that's why just i am explaining you it works inside the computer but we cannot see or touch this software we can install this software but they work inside the computer there are different kind of software like operating system application programs utility programs like antivirus etc and these software work inside the computer to solve your problems to do your work and without the software computer hardware cannot do anything when we turn on the computer first software that starts working is a bios b i o s basic input output system bios checks all the input output systems like keyboard monitor they are working or not if they are not working it displays an error message on the screen and gives beeps also because sometimes the display is not working so we can understand that the computer is not working properly there is some error so the beep messages give some signals and after checking all these devices when everything is okay then it starts loading operating system if there is operating system like windows on your computer then the operating system then the operating system will be loaded on the computer and you will get the desktop once you get the desktop you can start working in different application programs so if you want to work in paint you can work in your ms paint and if you want to work in ms word you should have ms office in your computer and once it is installed you can work in ms word anytime so all these programs are software and these software are non touchable you have seen that different hardware are 
helping to computer physically to work and software help computer to give the idea how to work and the combination of hardware and software works inside the computer uh, so when we want to use the computer both things are important hardware and software and one term is used for the combination it is called firmware firmware is combination of hardware and software so suppose that you have a hard disk this hard disk is hardware if it is blank but if there is a software in this hard disk it is a firmware and the persons dealing with the computer are called humanware humanware or liveware all the persons who deal with the computer who work with the computer like computer operators computer programmers even computer users they are humanwares or livewares this is all about hardware software firmware liveware or humanware i think you have got complete idea about hardware software and we will meet in another video thanks for watching this video hi friends i am shashank jori what is this this is mobile phone and what is this this is card is packs so how you recognize the things first you watch the things and then you take this information to your brain and compare with the pre recorded information like some images you have in your brain and you understand the things after comparing that what is this so the first part that uh, is helping to your brain is the input part there are different input parts in your body that help to brain to take the information one is eyes second is ear third is nose and you have learnt about the sense organs so some sense organs like your skin also works to take the input and these input parts help to take the information to your brain and then your brain understand that what the input is given and what to do like if i am asking what is this then the brain understands that the question has been asked and i have to recognize the thing and i have to tell about that image or the thing that has been shown so the brain gives the answer after matching the images and then tells that this is packs and this is mobile phone so this is the way today i am going to talk about input and output devices of the computer and i have started from the input parts of our brain reason that the computer works very similar to our brain the brain works with input parts and output parts we have some input parts in our body that help to our brain for taking information as i told previously these parts help to see the things to listen the things to smell the things and to sense the things by touching them so we get the information similarly in the computers there are some input parts they help to computer to take the input like the keyboard that helps to computer giving information in the text form we can type the text and that information goes to the computer similarly there are some other parts like mouse mouse is also an input device that helps to computer to click the things drag the things and make some operations that can be done on graphic user interface the graphic user interface is that interface in which we can see the things on the screen and we can directly deal with them we can click them we can double click them to open and we can drag them like so on so these are the operations of mouse and some other input parts are also used with the computer like microphone 
A microphone can be connected to the computer and we can input the sound to the computer. So there are various input parts with a computer and we have various input parts in our human body. Similarly, there are some output parts in human body and computer. See, the human body can give the information by speaking. So in this case, we use the mouth as our output part. We can write the information to show. So when we are writing, our hand is working as output part. Similarly, we can give some expressions and these expressions also give the information like I can smile, I can show anger. So these expressions also can be made by using our face. So that is also a visual display output device with our body. So the computer also has various output parts. When we use computer, we can give output in printed form or in display form, visual form or the sound form. So for different kind of outputs, we use different output devices like if we want to see something on the screen that is temporarily to see. So we use a monitor, monitor screen shows whatever we are uh, working in the computer or what the input is given to the computer or what the output is generated using the computer it can be shown on the screen so the monitor screen is a output device and the printer is there with the computer the computer helps to print the output on the paper so when we connect the computer with the printer we can print the information on the paper. So this is an output device. More output devices are there like plotter. Plotter helps to print big maps or charts or posters on the paper or flex. So this is also a output part. Another part is a speaker. The speaker helps to produce the sound as output from a computer. We have more input and output devices and these all devices work differently. Some input devices help to input the sound, the visual like webcam is used to input the video information or images to capture. We use a scanner as an input device. The scanner helps to scan the image or text printed on a paper and that information is given to the computer. So the scanner is an input device. And keyboard, as I told you previously, is used to give text information and to generate output. We use different output devices but some devices work as input and output both like a touch screen. The touch screen is a monitor on which we can see the visuals and that helps to give the output from the computer. The same time we can touch the buttons or menu and we can operate the computer. So when we are using that touch buttons and the menu then it is working as an input device so this is about input and output devices and i hope you will learn practically using these input and output devices and you will and you will know that how these input and output devices work for uh, giving information to the computer and taking out the information from the computer in the next video, you will learn how computer works. Keep connecting with us. Thank you.